Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to talk about how to create your website or a blog using Blogger. Uh, this is a program or a website which is owned by Google. I have done another video in which I talk about WordPress.com which is also a very good website program to create your blog or a website. Some people were asking me a question about adding ads on it and making money from it and to do that Blogger is a good option because if you look here there's an option called make money with AdSense and because it's with Google it's very easier to set this up so that's why this is pretty good in that sense. Uh, now to do that all you have to do is type blogger.com and you'll come to this website if you have a Gmail Google account then you can just sign in right now or you just click on sign up so I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account so I've logged into my account and um, if you were creating it for the first time they would have asked you a couple of questions about what is the title of your blog they would have asked you questions about what is the web address of your blog so I'll just show it to you like if you came in on this page and they didn't ask you that question because you already had an account with YouTube or Google then you have to click on new blog and then you have to give it a title here so you can call it whatever you want and this is what is known as the web address so this is where you choose like what would people how would they come to your website so I could try to type amir.blogspot.com you see this and it's giving an exclamation point because somebody has already taken it then I can try to put any combination or I can try to put my business um, account with the number and then once I get a check mark then I can choose this and set it now once you've done it later on you'll be able to set it up and use it with your own custom domain that means I can try to go and get amir.com and they can cost anywhere from twelve to fifteen dollars in some other countries you'll find it's even cheaper so you can look around and they have I'll show you where you can go and customize it I'm just gonna click cancel because I've already created a um, blog for myself now the first thing you will be doing is writing a blog so this is to create a post so all you have to do is you click it and uh, for the post you just have to start typing a title so I give it a title I've already done one so I'll just call it my second post and this is where you start typing so I can type my words here enter now you can highlight it you can change the font size you can make it bold there are different font types that you can use you can change the colors I can center it you can put bullets and numbering so a lot of the things we do in Microsoft Word are available here I can even make this word clickable so I'll just do it up here so so if I wanted I could make it highlight this and I can add a link to it and say I wanted to go to my website so I type it or copy and paste it in here and I can choose that if when somebody clicks on it it opens a new window so you don't leave my website so I click OK and that's it I wanted to add a picture I can use this symbol here insert a image and then you can choose a file from your computer so you click it go to where your file is in your computer and double click on it so I browse to where my pictures are and I can view it uh, maybe large and I can double click on this and the picture is added and you could always even go to from this blog that means the pictures you've uploaded earlier and if you had a Picasa web album like if you had been uploading Picasa is one of the web uh, site programs of Google where you can upload pictures you can go to that so I can just choose this picture and hit add selected now once the picture is added I can click on it I can make it medium I can add captions I can type whatever I want click on it I can make it small so you can center it so all of those things you can do now also if I want it I can add a video I can insert a video that I have in my computer 
or from a YouTube. So you just copy and paste the link for the YouTube video and do a search or you can do it from my YouTube videos. So these are my YouTube videos. I can click it and I can hit select to insert it and that video is added. And you can always look at all of these elements in HTML. So you start seeing, so if you know a little bit more about HTML, you can start working with this. So in this Compose, I see it all where I can use the buttons. Now if I wanted to make this window big for this YouTube video, I go to HTML and I'm looking for something that will say width. I'll make the 320 to 420. And if I wanted the height a little bit bigger, I could change that value to 366. And I come back to Compose and here the things will start to change. Now there is one more button I want to talk about is there is this button next to the um, video it's called insert jump break so you might have gone to some blogs and where you see that you usually get to read the three four lines and then they have a read more button so that's that's what this will do it puts like a breaking point so that um, on your home page when you have ten blogs People don't have to scroll too far to read all of them. They just see like first four lines and then if they get interested they can read more. So that's a good option once you start having lots of blog. Now once I'm done, I just hit publish. And now my blog is being published. Now to view my blog, I can click on view blog. And there's my blog and I'm just going to scroll down so this is a second post I just added and then there's that picture and this is a post I had added earlier so that's the idea now let's start looking at all the elements you can change in the blog so to do that you'll have to go back to the blogger option so from here you click you can click here or you can click on the blogger button on the top so either way and you'll come here so these are where all your posts are and on the left hand side is where you can start making changes so posts are for your blogs okay? and from here you can edit it delete it if you didn't want your post but they also have what's called pages pages are what would be considered static so a if I have a business page, a service is static because the service page doesn't change much. So now if I wanted to add a about me page, so if I click here and I can click on blank page and up here I can say about me or about us. And then here I can type or copy and paste all the things that I have. And I can just hit publish. And now the page has been published. I can always go back and edit it. I can drag and drop the sections around to rearrange the menu system if I wanted it. And just make sure that where it says show pages as, it should say one of these options. Otherwise, usually it says don't show. So that means these pages won't show up on the top. So you want to make sure that it says top tabs. Otherwise, you will not have these tabs on the top. So that's about pages and you can always save the arrangement now if you wanted to change your template that is the look so you just click on the word template and you'll find you can customize your current template and they have also will they will put a mobile for your smartphone if they already will have a mobile look you can click on customize and you can say that don't show a mobile look only show a regular look so you can choose that if you want did not want to show a mobile look for the smartphones but if I wanted to change it I just scroll down and they have some different um, ways of showing the website so whichever website I like I can just choose that so say if I like uh, this one so I just click it and I can hit apply to blog now the blogs changed now to see the changes I'm gonna go to my blog I've got that tab opened and I'm just gonna hit refresh or you can press F5 and you see the look of the blog has changed 
Now let's go back up and uh, we can customize this blog look. So everything about the blog can be changed. So the, there are different ways of showing it. I can change the background and I can click here. I can upload a image that I have in my computer or I can go through some of these. You see they have lots of different um, ways of your background. So looks so you can take any one of these, whichever one, one you like, and you can apply it to your background. So if I want say, this one, I click it, and I click Done. And you have to make sure you hit Apply to Blog for the changes to happen to your blog. And so that's when you say Step Let Applied. If I come to my blog and I refresh it, now the changes have happened. Okay. So some more things to change, adjust width. So right now, I'm just going to scroll down on the bottom part. You see, I can see the changes. My width of my blog is too narrow, so I can just use this and I can increase it. And you see it's starting to increase on the bottom. And I can also control how much I want to give to my right bar. So right bar is this section, the blog archive. So I can make it small or I can make it big. So it's up to you how you want to do that. And then you can apply to blog. And you can always reset to what it was. Layout. Layout allows you to control how your website sidebars look. If you choose this, that means you do not have anything on the side. So this is the sidebar. And if you want it to have more, you can choose a different style. I can choose this one. So I'll have something on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. And also you can choose how your footer should look. Now each and every element you can edit it. So there are all of these things they can be edited. So now if I choose this one and I hit apply to blog. And I'll show you also how to add some more things. But each and everything being editable I can click on this edit button here and I can choose the blog title, the blog description, I can even upload an image to go with the, the top part if I want it. You can click on this edit for pages and you can rearrange it here too up and down how would you want to call it and how would you want, like to have it. Okay. So that's the layout. Under advanced, you'll see options where the page text, I can choose the page text to be a certain style, certain font, certain color if I want it, uh, certain things on block title. So this is my block title. If I want it, I can change the color on it. And as I'm clicking, I can start to see the changes happening. So whatever option I want it, I can choose that and then I can choose a bigger font size if I want it different font and I can also choose a custom color for the blog description which is on the bottom of the title and I can choose a different color whatever I wanted it to be again so you can make all of these changes there are lots of different options that you can change and then at the end you just hit apply to blog and I'll just go to my blog and hit refresh and you can see that because I've made the changes my blog has become narrow so let me just go back and fix it by going to layout and I'll choose this design and I'll hit apply to blog it's a much better looking design than the other one that I had so I'm gonna go back to my blogger option by using back to blogger so there's my website this is the way it will look on the Blog. And there is another layout option here, so I'll come to here, about template. Now this is where I can add gadgets. So you see, because I have these spaces here, I can add gadgets to it. So if I wanted to click here, I can add a gadget here. And there are different things they already have that you can add to it. So I'm going to talk about adding AdSense. So if I put that AdSense option, an ad will show up there or I can add a search box or a slideshow or a video bar 
or a blog list so all of those things I can add to it so let's see if I want I can just add a search box search this blog and I'll hit save and just to make sure when I look up here it says page element added and there it is in fact I have two of them now but I'll just hit save arrangement come back to my blog and hit refresh and there it is so there is a search option and I can always go back and remove that extra one so the layout is where you can come and make arrangements to any of these things and to your footer what do you want on the footer so you want you can always add something else a gadget and there are lots and lots of gadgets that you can look into and see so you want to share it with a button where people can share your website with Facebook or Twitter you can just click on it and something went wrong but you will see there are lots of other buttons that you can use so that's, that's a good way to customize your sidebar and the last thing um, second last thing I want to talk about is settings so this is where you can come and make major changes to your title description now this is where you can come and add a custom domain so you can click here and then you can if you've already purchased it so you can go to like godaddy.com or in your country you can look sometimes you can buy domain for a few bucks you just put it in here and they have instructions here so you have to follow the instructions so that your domain when people type that domain for example I go by amirp1.com when people type it it will come to this website so you can go through the instructions for it they have options for posting and comments like you can choose that only registered users can post a comment or you can even allow anonymous posting so anything to do with um, major settings you can come to the settings option and you can always go into the help section and you'll find there's a lot of help available the last thing I want to talk about is earnings so this is what I was telling you that uh, you can make money from blogger by using what's called Google AdSense and you have to sign up for it so just go through the steps uh, try to put some good content on your website because uh, Google's computers will try to scan your website and if they don't find something interesting they might say that they cannot put ads on it but in most cases it should be okay unless you do not have questionable material and they have some video here that you can look at and how it works and features that you can look into and see and you can always get more information like statistics once your website's up and your blog's up you can start seeing more stats about it and uh, you get to see which countries people are coming from and then also under overview you get a lot of information so you can always go back start adding more posts some interesting articles and hopefully uh, if your website gets popular you will start making some money so hope you found this video useful and uh, you can use this to start your own business website for free at least for now rather than spending money on it thank you for watching